Thank you, Eric. This morning, your holiday is off to a quiet start. We'll see plenty of sunshine before we see winter weather quickly returning. Not only some cooler temperatures, but even a chance for snow. All right, as of right now, we have this cold front not too far away. It's going to sweep through, not bringing us much of an impact today. You'll notice the cool temperatures tomorrow as we're going to stay dry. Right now, a lot of us falling into the low 30s, if not upper 20s. 29 degrees in Rochelle, 31 in Roscoe, 30 degrees in Dixon. We may still lose a degree or two before we reach right near average into those low to mid 40s. If you are participating in the turkey trot this morning, though, make sure you dress warm. The temperatures will not only stay in the 30s, but your wind chill values. They're going to hang out in those mid to upper 20s. Awfully chilly start this morning, but overall, our Thanksgivings have seen a warming trend. This is a neat graphic for, sent by our friends from Climate Central. You could see over the last several years, we have an increasing trend with those temperatures warming, bringing our Thanksgiving about three degrees warmer. Now, speaking of a warm Thanksgiving, the warmest one we saw, a couple cool records here for you, was 67 degrees. Can you imagine that? Today we're going to be right near average, where we should be for this time of year. We'll see that sunshine this morning as some cloud cover joins us later, but we're going to stay dry. Little breezy with winds gusting near 25 miles an hour. And as we head into tonight, as that cold front sweeps through, we take a fall all the way into the low 20s. That's going to make for a very chilly night and start to our Friday. We'll hang on to a little bit of cloud cover through the day tomorrow, but still going to stay dry. Then the mid 30s settle in and that's for the entire holiday weekend or dry but gloomier for Saturday at Strawn State. And then by Sunday, we actually have a chance for some snow showers. Let's take a look at what that looks like here on future track. Looks like that system moves through early Sunday morning. Here's 830. You can see that snow starting to move in, especially by mid morning, a lot of northern Illinois seeing that activity. It's going to continue to exit as we head into the early afternoon. This is 1 30 and then it's out by our evening. So keep this in mind for any traveling you might have even at the end of the weekend. If you're heading back home or know someone that will be, we're going to see less than an inch possible. But regardless, it doesn't take much. Be sure to watch for those slick spots early Sunday. We're going to dry things off after that. Stay rather chilly. We hang out in those 30s for quite some time, but we welcome back in some sunshine in your most accurate 10 day forecast. It looks like we're back into the 40s heading into next week and still trending to stay dry. Manny.